Well, folks, we got a mess of a situation going down in the GTA 6 community. Seconds are going bald right now because apparently one of the Rockstar employees just came out. He talked about GTA 6. He shared a post and then he ended up deleting that post. I will show you what he said. We also got Seconds uh, being paranoid that they're going to be nerfing that Lucia Bruna as well. <laughs> Seconds are afraid that they're going to be uh, making GTA 6 run at 30 FPS because there are leaks going around about the PS5 Pro that GTA 6 gave gameplay is gonna be at 30 fps if that happens that's gonna start ww5 guys but we're gonna get right into it like this video please like this video let's go for two likes on the video guys and uh, roll it we Check all know out. the gta 6 map is going to be huge but it looks like there's a catch in the fact that the game is going to be so massive let's start from the beginning playstation 5 pro specifications have leaked online the list Dude. first came out on moore's laws dead youtube Wait, channel what? and then was claimed to be real by insider gaming the latter added further detail in a later published article the headline improved Improvements here are to the CPU, which uh -huh. is said to be identical to the standard PS5's right. one, but with a high frequency mode, which amounts to a 10% increase of the clock speed, and the GPU, which enables faster rendering and higher quality ray tracing powered by it, We are in the year 2024, it should be a 100% improvement, bruh! 10%! Y'all like is crazy right now! Watch these like things uh, charge us like 600 US dollars for that. Would you buy it for 10% improvement? 33.5 teraflops. The but standard PS5 teraflops. offers 10.28 teraflops. Also- okay, so there it's like a 300% improvement like in terms of teraflops, but uh, I'm not sure. Like, can it do 60 FPS? Is the Lucia Burna gonna be intact? We're not sure. Bro. The PS5 Pro is said to have an upscaling and anti-aliasing solution called PSSR, PlayStation Spectral Super Resolution Upscaling, custom machine learning architecture, and an AI accelerator. It all sounds like the upcoming console will run GTA 6 in 4K resolution without any problems, but tech experts have a different opinion. Yeah. According to Digital Foundry Ow. founder Rich Ledbetter, speaking in the latest episode of DS... Yeah, when, like, the original leak came out about PS5 Pro, everybody was like, bro, like, GTA 6, uh, you know, is saved. 60 FPS, the Lucia Bruna is gonna be fired. <laughs> but then, Digital Foundry came out and they said that, bruh, bruh, it's probably still gonna be 30 FPS. And now a lot of people are like in the FUD state, like fear, uncertainty, and doubt. But then, Rockstar employee also came out, which I will show you in just a little bit uh, on what he said. Direct. All, the PS5 this. Pro's processor means GTA 6 will probably run at 30 FPS. Yeah. Same as on the standard PS5. The games that are targeting 30 FPS are not, right now, are not going to be targeting 60 frames per second on PlayStation 5 Pro if they're CPU limited. So, you know, all of the sort of conjectures that, hey, this is going to be a great uh, box for Grand Theft Auto 6. Uh, we'll be able to run that at 60 frames yeah. per second. L let's be real, all that get is gonna be, you know, minusing 30 FPS. Yeah, absolutely. And here's the thing, right? Before I show you guys what Rockstar Games employees said, would you rather like 60 FPS or 30 FPS? Now, with 60 FPS, you, it, that comes in with like nerf Bunda, right? But with 30 FPS, like the Bunda is good, would you like a 30 FPS or 60 FPS if you could pick one? Man, I, I need the 60 FPS, but damn, man, like, and I, I cannot compromise on the Bunda getting nerfed too, bro. Like, that's a. These are, these are uh, first world problems that we have right now, bro. Unless there's some magical CPU stuff being done by Rockstar. I suggest that's not going to happen. Extra 10% on clocks isn't really going to do much at all. It will help your sort of worst possible frame rates when you're CPU limited, but it's not a game changer. I think that's <laughs> that's pretty clear. Right. I was pretty sure oh, that the standard no. PS5 and Xbox... Now, what he means is that, like, if GTA 6 is not, like, running at 60 FPS on the normal PS5, do not expect it to run at 60 FPS on the PS5 Pro, which is fair, okay? The, the guy is knowledgeable. But apparently Rockstar employees said something right after that he deleted, which I will show you, which will uh, give you, like, good hope. Uh, good, but... but First of all, let's finish this here. And, uh, Series X you. won't run GTA 6 at 60 oh, FPS, but PS5 Pro, right now, one of the miracles we can count on is that the leaked specs aren't 100% right, but I wouldn't get my hopes up because it has been confirmed by many reliable sources. And given no GTA game has launched with a 60 FPS option, yeah. all of this seems to be true. The second Bruh. option that may make GTA 6 run at 60 FPS is some kind of programming miracle. Perhaps Rockstar already has a solution to this problem. They probably already received a PS5 Pro dev kit 
and seeing what components it has, started working on some performance mode to make the game able to run at some higher frame rates. Last month, analysts signaled that Sony is likely to release the PS5 Pro later in 2024. Yay. Sony has a pattern when it comes to releasing a Pro version of its consoles. The PS4 Pro, for example, launched in November 2016, yeah. three years after the PS4 came Damn, it's crazy though, like this November, it's gonna be eight years since we had PS4 Pro, man. Like, Sega's gotta be, Sega's gotta be like 70 years old uh, when they get GTA 7, bro. That's, that's insane, man. GTA 6, bro, GTA 6, where is that game, man? When is it coming out? Yeah, they say 2025. Some leaks are saying it's gonna be like in February, on February the 18th. Sega's are saying GTA 6 Trailer 2 will happen in April next month. But realistically, it doesn't sound like it's gonna come out like early 2025. I hope so, I hope so, but, but what, what, what you guys think of these two leaks that are going around too came out. A PS5 Pro launch this November would come four years after the standard version launched in November 2020. Honestly, I'm not surprised by all the buzz about GTA 6 running at 30 FPS after looking at this comparison. One of the GTA 6 Reddit community members posted this image comparing the latest GTA 6 map, which is based Holy on the crap, leaks bro. in the trailer, to the RDR2 and previous GTA games. God, the GTA 4 map is so small right now. It's smaller than, uh, you know what I'm saying? Like, I cannot say that word on you. Like, but like, yeah. The difference is huge. The upcoming GTA map seems to be at least twice the size of the GTA 5 map, and it looks three or even four times bigger than the RDR2 map. This image also reminded me of how small the GTA 4 map is. I recently Crazy. played this game, and the world seemed much bigger than what's visible on the comparison, yeah. and it seems to me that the, the map is like a lot more dense, and there was a lot more like, I, I guess, buildings that you can go in, right? And right now we're in the GTA 6 is going to allow you to go uh, like 70 percent of the buildings are gonna be explorable in gta 6 stop the cap yeah right like i don't believe that but that's what we're hearing like cap or facts guys this is due to the density of that map and if you're worried looking at this image that the gta 6 map don't have enough urban areas i think there's no reason for such concerns the map you see was drawn based on the coordinates found in footage from the yeah. huge gta 6 leak from 2022 the and from product, the first yep. trailer so there are no unconfirmed locations or roads on this map the second trailer should reveal some new locations, though I'm sure that by the time the game is released, there will be a lot of places that weren't discovered earlier. Not long ago, I reported to you about a situation where in late February, Rockstar senior leadership asked previously remote working GTA 6 developers Rockstar Games announced on 28th of February 2024 that workers will have to be in the office. Yay! Okay, right before we get into the story, there's like another clip that I want to show you guys, but apparently we ended up getting this uh, rumor, uh, not necessarily rumor, but Rockstar games is reportedly confident that gta 6 will have a 60 fps mode on playstation 5 and that is according to an employee right so this is this is what happened this was said by senior artist halen in a reply that was later deleted in a response to a fan's question on a chinese gaming uh, social media app and this is why he said so somebody asked yo boss uh, after gta 6 is released can the PS5 frame rate mode be stable at 60? And he replied by saying, I don't know, but we are confident. He did say we are confident, and then uh, he ended up uh, removing the post, though. Yay. So, what? What's? it seems like that, and I, I believe it, right? Like, we're talking about Rockstar Games. Like, I don't I don't think they want to put that sucker out, like, at, at 30 FPS. So, like, 30 FPS, like, burn at 30 FPS, or burn at 60 FPS. I, I guess you would go with 60 FPS, right? So... To return to the office five days a week in the sequel's final stretch of development for productivity and security reasons. Now, speaking to Aftermath under condition of anonymity, two employees are pushing back against the notion that in-office work will have the tangible benefits Rockstar cited when pushing for a return to office. Speaking to the security aspect of the situation, which refers to the prevalence of leaks, which has been particularly bad for GTA 6, there were varying degrees of understanding. One Rockstar employee said, Security is definitely the argument that's easier to take in good faith because we have had leaks and they're a serious problem we need to do as much as we can to make it harder for attackers to get into our systems another meanwhile a 17 year old or 16 year yeah at that time he was 16 though meanwhile a 16 year old goes to like a hotel room with an amazon stick amazon fire stick it was called right and hacks gta 6 <laughs> <laughs> yeah, could you imagine like hacking rockstar games with an amazon usb fire stick 
and we're not even talking about like a professional though you know uh, no shame okay no disrespect to the guy i mean he's a professional after, i mean listen man he leaked the lucia bruna not even the aliens saw that crap right not even the aliens knew that gta 6 was gonna happen so he's a he's a professional in my eyes right now dog but employee however argued that leaks can happen with in-office work just as much as remote work we've historically had leaks regardless of what setup we had back yeah. with red dead redemption 2 we had leaks around the launch of that game it's yeah. never going to be 100 fully secure people oh, will be motivated yeah. to leak our content because there's a great deal of interest in the products that we make there's little disagreement among the employees interviewed however that it's possible for most employees Everybody's always motivated to leak the leak the GTA 6 employees to be true, just as productive from home as in the office. One employee said, "If you're a programmer, it's quite a bit easier for you to work remotely than it is for other roles involved in acting and mocap and things like that. Yeah. But the reality is, for probably the majority of people in the development staff, you don't need to be in the office every single day to do your job." Another Rockstar staffer said, "If we look at our previous project, like RDR2, where we were working five days in the office, we're still working remotely with all of these other." studios so whether you were in the office or not you were still doing remote work you work with just go to the office bruh like what what's yeah, happening remote, like these devs are god like what, what you guys think of now listen i don't have a problem with the devs working from home or like at, at office but like just go to the goddamn office bro just go to the like your employer wants you at the office simple as that go to the office bruh Finish the game right now. Like, it's crazy that the employees are like, no, bro, I don't want to work, bro. I don't want to work. I don't want to work. Uh, it's, it's like, listen, whatever I say, whatever you say, like, it should not, this will not impact, like, their decision. It's just that the employer wants you at the job. So go to the job, bro. Like, do the job, bro. Like so many people on so many different teams. A good majority of them will not be at the place where you work. Some Rockstar employees speaking to Aftermath expressed concern that Rockstar's in-office mandate is simply a means of quietly laying people off without severance pay by making work unbearable okay. or inaccessible. All right, okay, that, that's a... Okay, I understand that because, like, recently a lot of devs were, were fired from Activision, Sony, even Xbox, Activision, other companies, EA as well. I believe Ubisoft News as well, Ubisoft as well. I could be wrong. Okay, I, I hear that. I, I get that. But it's like, dog, like, uh, we, we heard on the internet, it really does sound like that the devs are just complaining about not working because previously we did hear that. The devs said that, no, bro, we don't want to work. We don't want to go to the studio. And it sounded like that they just don't want to work, right? And a lot of uh, the internet detectives came out, internet and Andy's came out and they're like dog like uh, you complaining about working <laughs> and i go to the work every single day right like you guys uh, are probably gonna watch or you guys you guys are probably gonna say yeah bro like i go to work i don't complain dog I don't complain. And these suckers be complaining about working five days a week, though, so... Accessible. The employees are concerned that some of their colleagues will choose to simply step away from GTA 6 and Rockstar altogether when faced with the decision to prioritize their health over work. After reading their... But they can still fire you regardless, like, even if you're working from home. If, even if you're working at home, right, they can still fire you. It, I, I feel like that it would be much easier for them to, like, send you an email and be like... <laughs> Do, don't work tomorrow don't work tomorrow right i, I feel like that is if you're in person then it's like they gotta uh get you in the studio i i feel like that they will still like send you an email or something like that but but like i i don't think that this argument works for this one you know what i mean i think it's an excuse their arguments excuse. i'm not sure what to think anymore an important thing is that since they started to work remotely many of them moved to places far from the studios and now moving back for many could be too big of a problem and they might resign from further work on the game and regarding Dang. the mentioned leaks which happened before they worked remotely they're right because the second in my opinion biggest legit leak of information about gta 6 happened in 2018 the youtube channel the no formerly and now currently known as inside gaming released a video sharing details about gta 6 all they, they were the first one to leak gta 6 and guys they, they leaked it back in 2018 i thought it was 2017 uh, we're talking about inside gaming right yay so they these figures were the first one to say project america y city uh they also did say that the game is going to be set in the 70s and 80s which is not true but at the time it was true though you know it was supposed to be set in the 70s and 80s but they realized that if we make it modern day we can have a lot of the flying cars and vehicles like that Bruh. in gta online and therefore we're gonna make a lot more money and modern day just you know hits different though it's like a, a lot of people prefer that even i prefer that like would you want 70s 80s in a game setting or modern day i guess we would go with modern day so uh, i think that was a good decision but initially uh this is what they said and their leak was actually true 
Their leak was All the information proof. was sent to them by an anonymous source close to Rockstar Games. The group felt confident in the evidence provided to them, and that's why they decided to publish the information. So what was leaked? The fact that the next numbered entry in the GTA franchise will be set in or around Miami, or Rockstar's version of South Florida, known as Vice City in the GTA universe. But yeah, players yeah. will also fly to South America for some missions. Yeah, for many yeah, yeah, people, yeah, yeah. this was not yeah. a big surprise, because Vice City was one of the main locations they expected in the next GTA. They also said that for the first time in the series, GTA 6 will feature a female character as one of the main leads, although there were- Oh shit! Okay, so they were also the first one. Damn, okay, I forgot about that. I, uh, yeah, and uh, yeah, Tom Henderson did say, I believe in 2020 or 2021, that we're gonna have one male and one female, and obviously the female is Lucia. Her Bruna got leaked out too, so yeah, we... And, and then when the leaks came out, it was confirmed. Co yeah, right? Like, it, it's crazy, man. The, the GTA 6 uh, leak saga has been wild, dog. There was no more detail on whether players will take control of more than one protagonist as they do in GTA 5. This was also confirmed in the 2022 leaks and in the first trailer last year. It's crazy to think that such important information about the game was leaked already six years ago. It was Rap. a huge thing. Crazy. And recently writer and comedian Brian Garr has revealed how Rockstar Games reacted when all these details were leaked in 2018. It's worth saying a bit more about who he is though. Garr writes for the production company Rooster Teeth, which is being shut down by parent company Warner Brothers Discovery after 21 years of operating. Six years ago, Brian was writing for The No, which was an entertainment news channel division of Rooster Teeth. Yeah, Speaking on the latest know, episode yeah. of the Inside Games podcast, on the episode called R.I.P. Rooster Teeth, the panel of Lawrence Suntag, Bruce Green, and Brian reminisced about some of their favorite memories of the company. And Brian revealed how Rockstar reacted to a video he scripted about GTA 6. Check it out. And so I got a tip, and this was six or seven years ago, about GTA 6. Ooh. um from someone and i'm not going to say who still but like they had inside info as to what it was looking like at the time and it was like um i forget what but it was like you know it's it was codename project americas and you're going to be doing drug missions to and you know uh from from uh, the u.s to, to central south america and all this so i was like great got the person to confirm who they were uh okay. typed up the script um we put out the video yeah. and uh, and no one believed us at the time or it was kind of even the audience was kind of like eh i don't know you're, you're full you know kind of like you're full of shit or whatever <laughs> rock star yeah, yeah. rock star flipped out oh, like wow. they locked down the studio to find <laughs> to find <Wow>. the leaker <laughs> and a vice president of rockstar called me and was like he's Whoa. very nice but he wanted to know you know who you know who my, my source, source was, was. and well, i was you like can't do that yeah, fuck yeah i was like i was like look man i cannot like i don't know how like games journals but like i'm from like newspaper like i'm never gonna tell you my he was yeah, like that's fine yeah, yeah. you know just wanted to you know and uh you know got <laughs> off and, but that's and it wild. was like Damn. so yeah they lot okay so he according to him they locked down the studio back in 2018 when those suckers uh when like one bad apple let's just say in our opinion hero okay he was a hero but according to Yo, them Marco, he was a bad apple that leaked it and they were like trying to find who snitch they were trying to see like who snitch and i, I believe they did not find the snitcher uh, or maybe they did what if they did i we, that, that, that that news would have never came out right and now he's talking about the fact that yeah i guess like the, that 2018 i mean it depends right most of the leaks uh, for gta 6 have been true i know that a lot of people would disagree and that's fine but most of the leaks have been true about gta 6 it only depends uh, from what source you uh, what source you're looking at right if you're looking at all the big sources like hey uh, jason schreier kotaku when he was at kotaku not necessarily kotaku but jason schreier tom henderson uh the no inside gaming right the project america leak i'm talking about these leaks right obviously there were leaks every single week from people that you people from the streets let's just say right that you never heard of obviously those leaks were fake but from these big sources the leaks were actually uh credible though it's just that like so much time has passed that a lot of these leaks are probably not gonna come true not because they were fake but because like things got changed around and, and obviously the patterns that was official stuff but circus did not want to believe that because like you, you know where is gta 6 uh, rockstar would w we waited like what by the time it comes out it's gonna be like 12 years since uh, gta 5 though so, rooster yeah. teeth you know it it it, it 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 caused a deal like nobody ever said like 
hey, you shouldn't have done that. But it was like, it definitely caused waves that we had Dang. put that out. So, hearing all that and now looking at the current Rockstar Games employees' situation, I'm not sure that the studio wants them back in the office, mainly because of security reasons. The issue of productivity makes more sense, although also not entirely. There's a lot of different research, and some of it says that remote workers actually aren't more productive, but other research says something completely opposite. Let me know in the comments down below what you think about it. Uh, honestly, bro, we, we just want GTA 6, dog. That's that, that's what we. I mean, if these things are gonna work from home and we can get the game and it's good and it busts in and it can come out early 2025, cool. But if if it means that it's gonna get delayed and full of bugs, nah, bro. Get your ass over to the studio. And guys, recently we just did this video about GTA 6. We had brand new leaks about the GTA 6, and the game is looking phenomenal, man. It is really, really looking phenomenal. Click on this video on the screen, and I will see you right there. Check this out, guys. On the left, though, that's uh, uh, the video of some of the woke crowd trying to cancel the game. Check out both of these, and I'll see you.